Hello and welcome back to a new video. So I haven't actually posted on my YouTube channel in quite a long time. I have been busy at work and I have been pregnant. I am pregnant still filming this video. I'm actually due tomorrow as I film this and I'm gonna try and post this video tonight. So I'm actually due tomorrow, but that doesn't mean the baby's coming tomorrow. I feel like this baby's gonna be here for another two weeks because yeah, Anyway, I'll do a pregnancy update in a second, but for this video, I thought I would just have kind of like a chatty catch up video slash showing you my autumn decor that I've got. Some bits are from previous years, some bits are new. So I thought I would show you it. So like I said, I am still pregnant. I am nine months pregnant due tomorrow. And yeah, basically I thought, I. I will do like a full video explaining my experience with the first, second and third trimester after the baby is born and like my different experiences with each kind of, you know, process or whatever it is each month and how it was different because the whole of my pregnancy has been very different, like mentally and physically. And yeah, I will do a video on that. Um, but pregnancy update is that I am quite big now um I don't know if you can see if I stand over here can you see uh, this this is how big I am right now and this is me at 39 weeks and six days I have also experienced some swelling so my hands are swollen more than normal so are my ankles and my legs and also my face and my nose it's only slight swelling like it's not crazy swelling or anything um but it it literally just happened just recently but yeah i'm definitely finding it very hard now to get out of bed it's painful the baby's head is really low at the minute as well which means it's even more painful um because because it's pressing a lot of pressure pushing down and yeah that just feels really painful and yeah i'm definitely ready to give birth now i feel ready i throughout my whole pregnancy was like not even thinking about the birth and i wasn't even like wanting it to hurry up or anything like that if anything i wanted more time to get things done and to get things bought but now i'm ready you literally get to the stage where you just want some normality back in terms of your physical abilities because i can literally not walk anywhere it's hard without feeling like intense pain and you know it's not anything abnormal like this is this is normal pregnancy symptoms some people have better than others like some people experience like an easier pregnancy than others and some people's are like much much harder than mine but i do definitely feel ready but if she's another two weeks like I can handle that, but I would rather I come now, if you know what I'm saying. But everything's ready, the baby's room's ready, all of her stuff is ready. So apart from that, I don't have anything else to update. I will do a video after she's born as to my experience with pregnancy because I would just rather talk about it after she's born, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, let me show you some autumn things. Cupcake, say hello. Also, I've just realised, I noticed that my nose is more swollen than normal as well. Apparently, there's this thing called pregnancy nose where your nose um, is bigger than normal when you're pregnant, um, but it goes down like after you're pregnant. Um, but yeah, I already put up my autumn stuff. I like to do that on the 1st of September. This year, this year, I did it a little bit before September because I was just too excited. A lot of stuff that I've got I've kept from previous years but there are some new bits that I want to show you and I don't know what it is about like pumpkins and autumn decor and stuff that just makes me really happy and it just makes me feel really cozy. I think that's what it is. I think it's the cozy vibes. Like I'm here for cozy vibes. That's why I put up my autumn decor September through to the end of October and I do put my Christmas decorations up November 1st through to all Christmas day basically um because I like to get the most out of my decorations I don't want to be putting them up for a week or two weeks I want to be using what I've bought if I spend money on something and I love having these things out so don't judge me doggies 
<laughs> Hello, Teddy. Hello, Kiki. They're like, who the hell are you talking to? So, this is kind of like an overview of the living room. Um, you can kind of see a few big pieces out, but I will show kind of like closer up. But the first thing is something I've had for a good couple years and it's got like scented, autumn scented bits inside it. This was from, I think it was from like Home Sense or something ages ago, like a few years ago. And that just kind of chills there. Over near my TV, I have this, which I really like. It's like a tea light holder thingy um, at the back. And when it's nighttime, this glows really, really nicely. I will show you it when I vlog another day. I picked up something new. So this is something new that I got. I got this from Matalan. It was five pounds. It was the first thing that I bought autumn related this year and this is one of my favorite things I bought I don't know why I just really like it I think it's like a good addition to my collection and it looks really cute sat here this is where I like to keep it I think because it's like wooden it just has like a different kind of vibe to the rest of my decor and yeah I really like that and I thought it was a decent price Another new thing that I picked up this year is this candle. This is one of my favourite things that I bought this year. This was from Morrison's, so they still sell it now. I think it was like £6 or something like that, and it's a candle. Normally, I wouldn't spend kind of too much money on candles, but I really love this um, like ceramic container or jar or whatever. Um, I think the scent... Oh, I just got some of my lipstick on it. <laughs> I think I smudged. God, what a mess. I think it's pumpkin spice scented and I have been burning this every single night on my TV. I got this because when the candle actually burns out, I was thinking I could use this as like a coffee mug or a tea mug or something like that. I thought it would be really cute. Obviously it doesn't have a handle, but that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, that lives here and that gives a really kind of nice scent when it is burning so my tv area it looks quite cozy at night when i've got this fire thing on um it doesn't let out any heat by the way that's just for display it can let out heat but i don't right now because it's technically summery weather what are you playing jakey sleeping so over on top of the hamster cage i've got a little pumpkin from a few years ago I bought this probably three years ago I'm not sure where from but this is really nice again it's got something scented inside it and I just like it it's nice and I think it just chills nicely here I didn't really know where to put it to be honest so the window is probably my favorite area of um like my autumn decor stuff so these few bits I bought last year I got these off of Amazon they're probably still on Amazon now anyway they are really really fluffy they're very light so you know if you sat on one you would crush it basically but they look really nice so what I'm saying is when you store these be careful but I like those and also this pumpkin here is from last year as well and I think that's really cute it's just very plain I think my mum's got one in her house and she just keeps it out all the time my mum got me a few autumn things yesterday and this sign was one of them so it just says on it farm fresh pumpkins pick your own and I thought it was kind of cute in the window with the rest of the pumpkins because it kind of makes it look like a shop window or I'm selling my pumpkins or something like that um so yeah I really love this sign and she got it from like a local shop to where I live um you can put this on the wall but I don't have any like actual nails in the wall at the minute so I've just popped it in the window but I actually quite like where I put it I do think it looks kind of cute there she also picked up this little pumpkin for me as well this is like a really good quality kind of like knitted pumpkin kind of or not knitted but fabric fabric pumpkin and it's different to all of my other ones I like to have kind of different um pumpkins around the house otherwise it will just look too samey um I just want them to look yeah 
different. This is really cute and I just popped this in my window with the other ones and they're all they all come together and they look really cute all together. And I think my mom got that from the same shop that she got the sign from. And this is also something I bought this year. Now these are on Amazon so you can get these quite easily. I can't remember how much they was but they wasn't too much. I decided to pick these up because they look more realistic than my other pumpkins and I thought that it might save me having to get actual pumpkins because I really don't want to be having fresh pumpkins in the house anymore because <laughs> Teddy shush um because they just like rot and get moldy and I can't be bothered to carve them it's a massive job so I just got these out and I think um they look really cute all together they are plastic and they are hollow um so again you can squish them 100 percent. but yeah i really like these and i think it's worth getting if you are similar to me they could go in your window they could go outside actually don't put them outside they'll blow away but you do get like a good collection of them so you don't have to sit them all together you could disperse these around the house but i just thought they looked cute together so this is like my window area my favorite section so that's everything in the living room autumn related now we're going to come into the kitchen so i have this mug from a couple of years ago it's not my favorite don't really like it i think it's because the handle's black um i just don't like that but yeah i don't really find myself using this too much so it's more kind of like a decor piece but i think that was from like tesco's or morrison's like a few years ago this is a new purchase this year i love this mug so i picked this mug up from morrison's and it was like three pound fifty or something like that it says hello pumpkin on it i thought this was like the perfect mug to kind of sit and have a cup of tea in, in the afternoon and it just looks really cozy i love the color i'm a massive mug enthusiast i love mugs that are different or just nice mugs i don't know i just enjoy my drink so much more if i have it in a nice mug so i keep this up here anything to do with autumn that is like a mug or anything like that i will always keep it on display like i won't pop it in the cupboard or anything like that so that's it's there but there is normally another mug here as well and that mug is here so this i've had for a few years i got it off amazon i think they still sell it it comes with a spoon yes i have used it this morning that's why it's used sorry they're breadcrumbs it was just kind of sat on a plate um but yeah i had a little coffee in this this morning and it's so cute because it's got a little kind of what do you call it head thing lid um but yeah and the fact it comes with a spoon but yeah this is really good quality and i've brought this out every single year that i've had it another one is this this was a pumpkin from primark a few years ago that i just whack out every single year and it sits in the window over next to the door i have this little pumpkin pot again i've had this for a couple of years and you could have pasta in this you could have noodles soup i put porridge in this the other day and it did overflow a bit but it's because i made it in the microwave but literally you could put anything in here so i just keep that here on display because again i like everything to be on display and i can't remember where that was from oh that was from morrison's a few years ago as well and then finally over on the top of my microwave i have this little pumpkin which i think was from primark a while ago like a few years ago i really like that that just chills there and then my mum got me this with the other stuff yesterday so this is another mug i actually went to b&m with her last week to look for some mugs but they didn't have any in the one that i was looking at but yeah she got me this from the shop locally to us and this is really really cute it says hello pumpkin and it's got like a picture of pumpkins on it i since i've been pregnant i have milk like a little bit of milk in the evenings i don't know why i've never really done that before but since i've been pregnant i just fancied it so i use this as like my little evening watch tv and have a little bit of milk mug as well so um yeah i really like this it's so cute so i put this on display again because it needs to be seen you can see how much 
gas and electricity I've used so far today. Not very much, which is good. So that is actually everything of my autumn decor. Hopefully I featured everything that I've got. I don't decorate upstairs. I just like to decorate the bits that people will mainly see if they come to my house, which is my living room and my kitchen. And that makes me happy. I probably won't get any more bits and pieces this year. I've got a lot of expenses this year when it comes to the baby and stuff like that. But every year I will just add my collection. So I will buy a few more pieces next year and so on and so on and so on. And then after 10 years, I'll have like a massive pile of autumn stuff. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe for more videos. Not sure what my next video will be, but we shall see. Um, and I will keep you posted on what happens with the baby and everything like that. Dogs are going crazy. Um, bye.